a pretty wild game. Just what are your your general thoughts? And you know, big comeback. Couldn't quite quite finish it off there in the seventh, like you obviously would have wanted. Yeah, I mean, just a lot of emotions in that game. We uh, obviously we got up to a really bad start on the mound, and you know, we're down five nothing before we knew what happened. Down then we're down six nothing and seven nothing, and then uh, we start chipping away. Bullpen, another bullpen day. We had to stress it out yesterday. Uh, you know, really came down to the starting pitching. If you really take a step back, they're freshmen. He threw strikes. He got us out for four innings. Um, our pitcher didn't throw strikes and he didn't get people out. And uh, we got behind the eight ball. Um, then on the other hand, we came fighting back. We never quit. Guys were believing. And then, uh, you know, we were right there, obviously. I mean, we, had, we get a big hit with two strikes by Leach, pinch hit double. Um, we strike out six times the whole game, but we struck out three times in the top of the eighth with runner at second and third and nobody out with the top of our order, which is, you know, which ended up being the difference. You know, one or two, the first two guys got to get that tie-in run in. You know, they both got called out looking, which is, you know, kind of tough. And whether it was outside or whatever, both of them, it is what it is. Uh, you got to make contact somehow. And then uh, uh, Pla uh, Pavlich, or how do how you say that guy's name? Can't seem to say it right. You know, he, he had the big strikeouts Friday night. And then, um, you know, even after going four innings, he comes back. I know he gave the double leech, but then what did you think about how he closed out the game for the Aggies? He did a great job. I mean, he, he did what – they were hoping he could do because they were pretty much down to their last guy, it looked like, and he was either going to do it or not. And, um, you know, give him credit. He pitched great. Yeah, I got a couple more about the, the UCA game Tuesday, but I'll, I'll turn it back to Oliver. Th thanks, Dave. Much. Dave, you touched on it a little bit, but what, what did you see out of Wiggins today? Same thing everybody saw. I could throw the ball over the plate. Pretty simple. And then, uh, you used several guys out of the bullpen today. I'm curious if anyone, any of them stood out to you. Toll gave you a couple innings. What, what did you think of the bullpen's overall uh, performance? They, were, they did okay. I mean, I wouldn't say anybody was lights out. Um, you know, I'm looking at the list here. It seemed like, you know, they just kept punching in runs on us. Uh, but we never – they didn't get the big inning on us, so we weren't blown out of the game. Um, you know, we got Ramage that came in. I thought he did a pretty good job, actually. He's the one. And he gave us – I don't know, almost three innings. Um, they scored a couple runs on him. Vermillion through an inning. They scored a couple on him. And just, um, you know, I'm not saying that it was all their fault. We made a couple of errors. A couple of, we didn't catch a couple of balls at first base that were on a, on a double play ball that just didn't get caught. He was going to be safe, but the ball got by. Run gets to score. He gets to go to second base. Cheap error. Uh, another ball. Wallace makes a great play. Gets up, throws a ball. You know, it was a tough catch because it was maybe five inches off the ground, but it was still in the air and it was coming now. It was about 95, it looked like, and handcuffed our first baseman. And, and, you know, instead of having an out, they got a runner at second base. And uh, we make an error on a ball that shouldn't be an error. So to me, it was first baseman didn't catch a couple of balls that hurt. Um, so our pitching, I mean, it was, it was it was pretty good, but they kept getting a big hit here and there. We didn't finish them off real good. And Tiger had a great eighth inning. Um, it would have been nice if we would have uh, at least tied that game uh, when we put him in. Andrew Ellis. Yeah, Coach, I was just wondering what that conversation with Slavens was like at that last at-bat. You called, I believe it was after the first or second pitch of the at-bat. You called time and called him over. Just kind of – were you trying to calm him down a little bit or what would you say to him there? Exactly what I did. I mean, you saw it. He didn't like the first call. Didn't show very good body language. Who cares? It's just one pitch. That's what I told him. Don't worry about it. Hey, man. Go up there, get your pitch, get your good swing on it. And uh, don't let that one pitch ring your whole bat. Pretty simple. And, uh, you know, we know he's going to a tough matchup left on left. He's a good hitter. It seems like every time, you know, Gregory comes up late in the game that teams go to their lefties and you went back to Leach today. And how good was it to see him come through in that spot for you? It was good, obviously. I mean, he drove in two runs, put the time run at third and – Go ahead, run it second with no outs with the top of the order. I mean, what more could I want? Maybe a home run. So, 
Uh, good for Leach. He did it with two strikes. He had a tough pitch the other way off the end of the bat. Got it over the big tall first baseman who was playing him deep. And, uh, you know, he did everything that we asked him to do. And that's go up there and compete. Robert? Yeah, Coach, I was going to ask about uh, Leach pinch hitting for Gregory all three times this weekend. I guess you just didn't like Gregory hitting lefty-lefty. Have you seen his numbers against lefties? I have not. Yeah, you got to look at him. Gotcha. All right, Bob, finish it off, please. Hey, Dave, you know, quick turnaround. Will you guys go straight to Little Rock, or you go home first and then go I'm to Little Rock? Home, right? Get home. How bad the, how bad's the weather there? It, it's raining here. It's kind of yeah. crappy, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try to fly out here tonight and, and get back and take tomorrow to regroup, lift. Hopefully, be ready to go, go play well on Tuesday night. You know, the fans are always so excited when you guys go down there and play. I guess it's, I guess you guys are the home team, even though UCA is closer. But how, how do you feel about the the games there, at Dickie Stevens? Well, I appreciate the fans in Central Arkansas. You know they. They follow us pretty good and make it easy for them to catch a game. I mean, it's, it's not easy for our team. Um, you know, I'd rather do it when, you know, we've played at home. We have a little bit more rest and then, then travel on Tuesday. But, you know, the SEC doesn't get our schedule out to us until really late. And it's uh, we got a schedule a couple of years in advance. So, uh, you know, it is what it is. We've got to travel. We've got to travel back, travel there, and then get ready, ready for Ole Miss this weekend. So but I enjoy going there. I think the fans are awesome. And, uh, you know, once we get there and get settled in, get ready to go, our guys will be excited to do that. I know you haven't probably thought about a starter yet, but I'm thinking McIntyre is going to pitch. It's, you know, either start or pitch. I know he's thrown pretty well the last two midweeks. What what do you thought of, of uh, his pitching here of late? Yeah, man, he's thrown the ball well. You know, he, he threw the ball well the last couple of midweeks. And uh, we got a couple, three guys that, that – are definitely ready to go that we did pitch up here or down here. And then uh, not sure exactly who we're going to start yet. We'll probably make that decision. Oh, tonight on the way back talking or, or maybe wait and see how people feel tomorrow and uh, put that out there probably tomorrow afternoon. Let's go on. You guys have been so I think you've beat, won 13 in a row over in state teams. And obviously, you know, you should beat them, but still, you know, baseball midweek stuff, crazy things can happen, but you guys have avoided that. You feel like, are you guys still excited about these games? Do you worry about them overlooking them between AM and Ole Miss? Or just kind of how do you think you guys approach another in state midweek game? Yeah, I wouldn't say our guys are excited about them. I mean, you know, they it, it's just human nature. You know, you're probably excited a little bit when we first started out. But, you know, when you get into the grind of the SEC schedule, you know, unless we're playing maybe a really high ranked team. You know, our guys are just trying to play well, get a win, and, and get to the weekend. And us as coaches, we do the best we can to, you know, to, to motivate them and, and tell them how important these these midweek games are. But I know they'll be excited to get down there and play in front of a big crowd. Move on. Bet Online is your number one source for all your betting needs, sports info, and odds. Find all the latest sports developments, including this week's odds for the Masters Championship and the start of Major League Baseball season. Bet Online is your continued source for all your sporting wagering needs, including live betting and your favorite Vegas casino and poker games. It's super easy to get started, so join today. Learn why everyone is saying Bet Online is the fastest and easiest way to wager on popular sports and games. Bet Online. Where the game starts.